Hello there, welcome to the October 2020 paper here, we're looking at question 12. So part A is prove the trigonometric identity that cosec theta minus sine theta is identical to cos theta cot theta. Let's start with the left hand side because we could write this out as 1 over sine, that's cosec minus sine theta. And then uh, what I'll do then is I'll make these two expressions uh, have a common denominator on their fractions. So on the bottom of the right hand side will be um, sine theta, so it will be sine squared theta on the numerator. Let's now combine these two fractions, so it's 1 minus sine squared theta over sine theta, and then 1 minus sine squared theta is cos squared theta. Okay, this is probably as simple as it will get, but now we have to start heading it towards this right-hand side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to split this up into cos theta over sine theta times cos theta over 1. And now this bit here is cos theta and this bit here is cot theta. So this equals cos theta cot theta, which equals to the right-hand side. So there we are, that's the answer for part A there, that's how we do that one. Let's now move on to the next bit. B, hence or otherwise, solve in between 0 to 180, cosec, uh, theta, cosec x minus sine x equals uh, cos x cot, and then this other strange angle here. So what I think I'll do is I'll manipulate, or not manipulate, but replace this left-hand side with the uh, right-hand side of this trig identity here. So it's now going to be cot, sorry, cos x, cot x equals cos x, cot 3x minus 50. Okay, so uh, let's now move all of this onto one side. Let's maybe move it all onto the left hand side. So cos x, cot x minus cos x cot 3x minus 50 equals 0. So let's now factorise out cos x. So it's going to be cos x brackets cot x minus cot of 3x minus 50 equals 0. So therefore we either have this expression equals 0 or this expression equals 0. Let's concentrate on this right hand one first. This is a bit more tricky uh, than the uh, left hand bit. So we've got this expression equals zero, so therefore the two bits must be equal to each other. So cot x and cot 3x minus 50 must equal each other. So therefore, uh, if we've got cot uh, and cot, then x could equal 3x minus 50. Just getting rid of the cots on both sides, and therefore. Um, if we rearrange this, we're going to get 50 equals 2x, and then 25 equals x. But the thing about the Cotts graph is that it repeats itself every um, 180 degrees, just like the tan graph does, the Cotts graph does the same. So actually what we could say as well is that x plus 180 equals 3x minus 50. Uh, will also be a solution, so therefore if we now rearrange this a little bit, we're going to get, um, if we add the 50 onto this side, it'll be 230 equals, and move the x on the other side, we get 2x, and then if we divide by 2, we're going to get um, 115. 115 equals x. Now we could do it again, we could add on another 180 onto one of the cots, and... Um, that will give us x plus 360, but actually when we solve that, that will give us an answer outside of our range of 0 to 180, so there's no need to do that again. So we get two solutions for that bit there. And then for the left-hand side that we had cos x equals 0, then x is going to equal, now when does it equal 0? I think it equals pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. So there we are, we have four answers for this question here, two for the cos x equals zero and two for the cot x equals cot 3x minus 50. Uh, and the reason that we have this extra solution here where we have to do x plus um, 180 
is because the Cot graph repeats itself every 180 degrees. So if I show you this visually, what I've got here is the Cot graph uh, measured in degrees um, between 0 to 100, 360. We only need it between 0 to 180, but I've drawn the whole Cot graph there. And then if I put on the extra graph of 3x minus 50, Cot 3x minus 50, then it will look like this thing here. And I clearly get two solutions, one here and one here, just below 120 and just below 30 degrees. And I don't get any more intersections in between 0 to 180. Now what it looks like is it looks like it's on a different blue graph than it did previously. So probably what I should have done is maybe add the 180 onto the other side. Or in fact, you can either add 180 or subtract 180 because that's uh, that's how the Cot graph kind of works. Um, add or subtract 180 to either side. So it doesn't, didn't really matter in this question which side I added the 180 onto. But what it's effectively representing is that for Cot and the same would work for tan as well, if you've got a solution where you've got something like tan x equals tan um, something random like 2x minus 30. Yes, it's going to be true that x will equal 2x minus 30, but it will also be true that x plus 180 will equal 2x minus 30, because what the plus 180 is referring to is a different branch of the, um, of the tan graph, or in this case of the cot graph. So there we are. Hopefully you found that little explanation uh, potentially helpful there. That's uh, the answer for question 12. Let's now move on to uh, question 13.